Hello YouTubers, welcome to the Sega Genicast. My name is Michael and we'll be continuing Tales Story in Sonic Adventure for the Sega Dreamcast. And here we are in Casinopolis. Wow, this thing is sure taking a long time to load, but our goal here is basically the same time as the last time we went into Windy Valley, which is basically get to the Chaos Emerald before Sonic does. And oh my goodness, I definitely love this version of Casinopolis compared to Sonic Story because if you guys remember, back in Sonic Story, we had to play these stupid casino games in order to build up our amount of rings so that we can get onto a platform to get the Chaos Emerald on. Well, with Tail Story, you don't have to deal with that. All you need to do is just play through the basic sewer part of Sonic Story of Casinopolis and then at the end of the stage where there's normally a ladder for Sonic in this case it would be the Chaos Emerald and that's where we're gonna find it man I'm doing a pretty bad job right now even though I'm ahead of Sonic I've just kept getting stuck to these walls and stuff aside from that little setback though this level is relatively very easy and I better not crash into one of these these oh my goodness why did I crash into that Ah, oh, jeez, man, that's ridiculous. But anyways, we're gonna collect our Chaos Emerald, and yes, indeed, we won against the world's fastest freaking hedgehog, you know? Yeah, and we definitely find the Emerald before Sonic. It's kind of weird to draw parallels between the two stories together, though, because we always picture Sonic as the one who's collecting the Emeralds, but Tails must be pretty dang arrogant if he thinks he's the one who got the Emerald instead of Sonic, you know? So anyways, we're gonna head back to Station Square, and oh, guess what? An ice ski dropped out of the sky. And let's watch this next cutscene. I always love the way that Tails deliver his line of Eggman. I mean, he must have smoked some serious gas in order to sound like that. Uh, Sonic, what happened to the Chaos Emerald? Ugh, Eggman got one of them. But the other one, see? He must be getting desperate. Now the Emerald Count is 2 to 1 and Eggman's winning! Let's get a move on! Yeah, I'm not particularly fond of Tails' voice actor in this game. I mean, he could be just pretty darn random with his voice delivery at times. I mean, all of a sudden he just says, Let's get a move on! Like, gosh, yo, that's... I don't like that. Anyways, we're gonna pick up this high stone and... <laughs> rinse and repeat from last time in Sonic Story. We're gonna basically take it to the Mystic Runes again. And we're gonna do Tails' version of Ice Cap Zone, which is pretty nice. So we're gonna board this train and head right off to the Mystic Runes. I'll see you there. Alright, so we have just observed the wall being blown from the side of the mountain and obviously we're gonna take this ice key, just like in Sonic's story, into the place where we needed to go, which is basically the entrance to Ice Cap Zone. So we're gonna jump into this whirlwind thingy and we're gonna take this thing and do it as I said earlier. <laughs> There's a lot of repetition to this game, I guess that's the only downside to it, but I, I kinda like it though in a way because you get to experience basically the same kind of levels with different types of characters and I think that's very nice so we're gonna jump on this ladder and then we're gonna get to experience Tails version of Ice Cap Zone which is I think it's a lot better than <laughs> most of Tails stages is better than Sonic's version because it's usually missing out the very difficult parts like see here we didn't need to do that boring crap where we had to did that little section where like if you fall off you fall all the way down and basically we're gonna start off with the snowboarding section as you can see here now my strategy with the very first part is immediately go to the sides you definitely don't want to touch the rafts because they slow down your speed and you know it makes it harder for you to actually beat against Sonic so we're just gonna keep sliding down here man thank goodness for the camera pan I 
I would have hated if the whole entire race would have been like if it was facing, you know, like the backwards version, just watching the snow slide down behind you. Because that would have been really annoying because you don't get to really see what's in front of you, but at last, you get to see what's in front of me, which is great. Oh, okay. Oh, I, what the heck? Oh, oh my goodness, jeez, man. I'm glitching like crazy at what the heck was Sonic doing over there. So we're going to do a trick on that ramp over there. But did you see Sonic? It was like bubbling all about like a moron. It looks pretty darn stupid. So we're just going to keep sliding down here and... Yeah, have fun with this part of Ice Cap Zone, which is great. Oh no, Sonic, you are not gonna beat me. Get, get back here, you blue hedgehog. Get back here. Woo, nice. I can't believe I did that. That was such a sweet move. I didn't think I was gonna make it, but with my 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 exceptional skills in Sonic Adventure, we managed to get through that section with no problems. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, so obviously the mentality here is, I think Sonic's pretty much lagging behind pretty badly, but anyways, what I was saying is, is that, basically, if I can get stuck easily, so should Sonic. That, oh, oh no, I missed a good, oh man, I can't believe I missed that part, because that would have greatly decreased my time in this level, now I have to like, go around this whole thing the slow way. I'm praying, I'm really praying right now that Sonic does not catch up to me. Let's see, well he's actually lacking pretty far behind right now and we can see there's the chaos emerald and we've won we just beaten ice cap zone which is fabulous man we've covered a lot of things in this one video i mean we've been through like casinopolis and ice cap zone and that's my gift to you guys again because i always want to give my 100 percent effort to all of you guys because you guys are fabulous so we're going to enter back into the mystic ruins and then obviously we're going to meet our red echidna <laughs> just like in Sonic's story. So we're just gonna jump over this lake that we could potentially drown in. Uh, get, get out there, yeah. Fabulous! Alright, so we're just gonna turn around this corner right here and then jump down this hole. Man, I love the way Tails' animation with the tail, like when he's spinning when it's really fast. It, it, it looks pretty nice, it looks so cool. And it makes me wonder how we did that. But yes, here we are, and we're gonna meet Knuckles the Echidna again. Alright, so we're about to engage in another character battle, but this time it's Tails versus Knuckles. And what I find weird is that Sonic's nowhere when you do this entire battle with uh, with Tails. And I go like, really? Did Tails really think he took down Knuckles all by himself? Alright guys, after watching that rehashed cutscene, what do you think our next boss battle is going to be? Seriously guys, I want you to take a guess. It is none other than Chaos 4 himself. 
Yes, we get to fight him again in Tail Story. It's basically virtually the same thing. And I died. I'm a freaking moron. I'm sorry about that. So we're just basically going to get prepared to attack Chaos 4 again. And, you know, it's basically the same strategy already as Sonic Story. But this time you have the ability of flight to um, tail on Tail's side. And that helps this fight a little bit more because um, Chaos's four attacks are really useless in this boss battle, and we're just gonna jump in right onto him right there and take a sliver of his health away, which is fabulous. But still, I don't understand why that character battle is just Tails all by himself fighting Knuckles. I mean, canonically, it makes no friggin' sense. Tails never engaged himself personally in any battle except for the end of this. Oops, I'm not gonna say anything. I don't want to ruin anything. Although this game's been out for 16 years, I still don't want to spoil things for you guys. But anyways, it would have been cool if Sonic Team incorporated like the both of them attacking Knuckles at the same time. I mean, I would have loved that. And that would have been a great boss battle because it would have been fun having Sonic and you strategic strategically my bad, attacking Knuckles at the same time, would've, which would have been great. So Chaos Force... <laughs> He's essentially very useless here. And let's see what he's gonna do next. Is he gonna surface up so that we can attack him? Not yet. Let's see here. Come on. Come out, Chaos 4. Oh, come on. Just let us defeat you. Man, he moves pretty dang fast. Let's see. Yeah, he's... he's Tails is basically invincible. Well, except I got hit by him there. But he's basically invincible against Chaos 4 again, you know? Because he's got that cool flying ability. And we're going to hit him right there. And we've just beaten Chaos's 4. And now I like how Tails is just doing his victory pose in midair. Because yeah, he's such a boss, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I absolutely love that boss battle because of Tails' ability to fly. And I still maintain the idea that the Egg Carrier indeed is a floating masterpiece. So we're gonna head right over to Tails Workshop so that we can retrieve the tornado and take it in order to pursue the egg carry. Hey, we can talk to Knuckles here. What's the matter? What are you waiting for? All right, so it's pretty obvious that Knuckles wants us to go after the egg carrier. Unfortunately, guys, this is the part where I have to end my video. But before I just do that, we're gonna watch this cutscene.